I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another review. This is another PayPal request from Galermo, who wanted my thoughts on Blackwater Vampire. Now, if you're ever interested in sending requests for reviews or re-reviews or movie topics or whatever, you can either send it directly via my PayPal or you can join me on my Patreon. Links to both are down below in the info box. I've said it time and again, found footage is always an interesting subject to watch. Because it could be a movie I really enjoy, a movie I really find boring, or a movie I really hate. Usually, there are exceptions, but usually at least there's a strong reaction, which makes it a bit more to review. <laughs> Guess which one this is? This is such a ripoff of the Blair Witch Project. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, you say a lot of found footage films are... But you have the, this is Blair Witch, but instead of a witch, it's a vampire. Which is funny because chunk of the film, they're like, well, did this guy really kill people? Of course not. There's a fucking vampire in the fucking title of the fucking movie. This is a movie that's so stupid that one of its rhymes is one, two, three, Bane's coming for me. Three, four, five, he'll skin me alive. First off, no one gets skinned. Second off, that's not how fucking rhymes work. You don't double the fucking numbers. There'll be one, two, phrase coming for you. A two, three. Just between you and me. Three, four, lock the door. Four, five. I ain't got no jive. That's fucking stupid. If you're doing a rhyme, why would you count three twice? One, two, three, da da da. Three, four, five. Like, so what? That's like you counting one, two, three, three, four, five. Matt, it's a small thing. Yeah, it's a small thing. That's a stupid thing. But I was getting to Blair Witch Project. You have. Instead of the Black Hills, it's the Black Water murders. Um, people growl out in the woods. Yeah, people fighting over a map. They get lost. They're in a tent. They hear noises. Uh, their tent didn't fucked with. I was ready for one point for some fucking goo to be on their stuff. And not only does this take off of Blair Witch Project, but bits of it from Rosemary's Baby, which I'll get to that. This movie is really boring. It's badly acted. It's so uninteresting and uninvolving. Even for a found footage film, it felt fucking cheap. What actually happens, the beginning of the film, there's a recording of police finding the body. I don't know if that's how it would work or if police would actually have a camera. Yeah, uh, this is where it is, and there's the bite mark. I don't know if that's how it works. 
They even had the text. Doc Crew investigates the murders. A year later, their footage is found. I mean, like the beginning of the Blair Witch Project with the, the text. And this is 2014. Not 2000, 2014. So this documentary crew, like the Blair Witch Project, what did they do the first chunk of the movie? Investigate, they talked to locals. Here, they talked to locals about, in this case, this guy who was arrested is going to be put to death. And they're going to go to Bloodsucker Highway. And they taught the locals. They interviewed the family of the victims. They interviewed the convicted killer. Him going, I know what they do in the woods. Oh, symbols. You know the Blair Witch symbol? Or here are these other symbols that they find. Not of sticks, granted, but just painted on their tent and stuff. It's just more bad acting. They get lost. They're sniping at each other. They're looking for a fucking Crete. Just like there was a Crete. There was a part of a plot point in Blair Witch Project. Tents were fucked with at night. They wake up. Or they go somewhere and a guy's missing. Granted, it's not when they wake up. But they move a little bit in the daytime. In the daytime... Let me stress that one more point. In the daytime, I say this because apparently this fucking vampire killed this guy in the fucking daytime. So vampires exist in the fucking daytime in this world. Granted, to be fair, vampires don't exist. So technically, you give them any fucking rules you want. I guess technically. But then it just we're so used to the other that when you bring something so daft but then you're not going to mention it it just creates more either confusion or just like what type of reaction like they talk to the guy and then five minutes later he's missing and then during the day they find blood it's him at night, they finally see the vampires. The Nosferatu-looking motherfucker, bald-headed, curly jaw looking motherfucker, hanging upside down in a tree. A girl gets taken. Later, she's found naked. And by this point, there's three left. There's a guy and two girls left. Because there was four. The one guy's dead, so there's three. The girl was taken, brought back. She's totally naked. And there's something in her stomach. That gets a little bit in the Rosemary's baby for the third act. So even though the girl is naked. And she's got this thing fumbling in her stomach. The guy is walking backwards. Still filming. While one's trying to carry the other like this. He's still walking backwards doing this. Filming the fucking shit. Also, did they have two cameras? I thought they had one, but then I swear one or two points, there's there's a point where there's two POV shots. But hey, maybe that's my fault. Maybe that's my fault. I missed something. And then this guy acts like a fucking dipshit. He's going to leave them behind. Hey, maybe, maybe I'll send help. Maybe I'll go get some coffee. Turns, there's the vampire right in his face, kills him. I think this was in fucking daylight as well. I believe this was in fucking daylight as well. So I'm like, yep, it is clear that the vampire kills in fucking daylight. And that killer who said, well, the convicted killer, uh, he was innocent though, but in jail when he said, I know what they do in the woods, they being the townsfolk, because the townsfolk are in on it. Does they pop up encircling the girls? Some night vision is involved. 
One little girl's deep bitten on the neck, and the other gives birth to a fucking baby vampire. And the last scene is another camera filming the first birthday party of this fucking vampire baby. Roseberry's baby type of bullshit. So it's Blair Witch Project, Rosemary Baby, and a fucking vampire put together. Very heavily rip off of Blair Witch Project, and then a Rosemary Baby ending, and then again, just put in a fucking vampire in it. There's your movie, there's your sign. Movie. Fuck you. I would honestly say this might be in the top 10 worst found footage films. Because A being such a copy of the Blair Witch Project, which is a favorite of mine. So you took an unoriginal, by this point, unoriginal technique found footage and made it even more original by stealing so much of the Blair Witch Project. But you thought, well, instead of a witch is a vampire, uh, instead of the Black Hills is black water. <laughs> and then... Why is this vampire in the daylight? Why do these townsfolk protect the fucking vampire that will kill some of their locals? Why do they love this fucking vampire so much that they celebrate the baby vampire with a fucking birthday party? Really? A fucking birthday party for a fucking baby vampire? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking titting my ass? So it, it did not pull me in. I got fairly bored in the film and then got stupefied. And then the bad thing didn't help. And like, what the fuck didn't help? It's fuck. Yeah, this is definitely in the top 10 worst found footage films for me, my opinion. Thanks for watching. Take care. This movie sucks. Dick. See you guys later. Bye bye.